Hi there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty. It's Wednesday and you know we need a little magic in our Wednesday to get us over that hump and to the end of the week. So we're going to do this little sticker here of a unicorn and there we go. And this is an Art Dot sticker set, a freestyle sticker set that I got from Art Dot from uh, Amazon. And this is our Off the Canvas Fun. It's a collaboration with Sweet Tea from Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea and my twin sister Judy from Crafting with Judy. So we're going to do our little unicorn today. Like I said, we need a little unicorn magic to get us through to the uh, other side of the week. Let's get started. And we are going to go crazy today, kids. We are just going to go crazy. And there we go. We're going to do a blue unicorn. Why not? Our unicorn can be any color we want him to be in our world. So let's go ahead and bring you in. All right. Let's see here. So, you know what we're going to do first? I want to do the hooves first because, you know, any little unicorn has hooves. And I have some dark chocolate brown. Oh, and friends, I need to say hello to my sweet little man, Spoto. I will be right back. Hi, baby. Hi, good morning. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we are, friends. Okay, just say had to say hello to my little Spoto. So, let's see here. I went ahead and I already took off the uh, plastic cover. So, I'm going to just go ahead and cover him up real quick. I just need to be able to hold on to him. And I have some brown drills. So, we're going to go ahead and give the indication of hooves. There we go. And I think this chocolatey brown is going to really complement the blue that we're going to do for the body of our little unicorn. There we go. All right. That's all I needed from them. Just a little bit. Oh, look at that, friends. Here, I'll pull you back so you can see what I did. <laughs> I spilled. I spilled. That's okay. You know, in the uh, famous words of my favorite paint instructor, Bob Ross, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Well, this can be considered a happy accident as well. There we go. And just as quick as can be, it's all set. We're all cleaned up. Okay, now we'll remove this. Hello there, Mr. Unicorn. And we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So we'll bring you back on in. There we go. And... Pull this up just a little bit. Get you in frame. Sorry I shook the camera. Alright, so we're going to get started. And I think for his wings, we're going to do a little bit of a lighter color. Uh, I was going to do white, but I don't want to do... I mean, not white, but this creamy, minty... Like light, 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 baby green. But I want to do like a gray around his wings. <clears throat> Just a really light gray. I don't think I have any gray that's any lighter than this one. Let me just check to see what I have that I saved. Uh, actually, yeah. Okay. I'm going to set the blue aside. We'll get to the body of him in just a second. I want to go ahead and... Okay. 
do a little darker gray around the edge of his wings just to give the indication of the wing you know what I mean just to give that little shadow uh, yeah we'll do that now we'll go down here there we go there we go and then let me see is that one a wing too no that is not so we'll just take this off here okay and we'll go here there we go just to show that he's got that wing there and we'll put these back there we are and then we'll go in with this lighter gray that I've had in my stash because yes they art dot gave us all different kinds of colors but that doesn't mean I can't use some of my own there we go there and that just shows that he's got this little this little wing there we are okay we're gonna do two more before I put this color away and I just knocked it over there we go all right and there okay so we'll go ahead now and do his body okay so we'll use this blue like I said I wanted to do a blue unicorn let me grab my wax and put some wax on the bottom of my pen and I've got a drill stuck to my wax that's always fun there we go so we'll go ahead grab some wax you know me friends I'm a hot mess and it's Wednesday so of course I'm off the rails It's because it's middle of the week you know how that goes so for some reason it just the blue called my name today and said you know what let's make this little unicorn blue a nice happy bright blue why not here we go and in your world you can make this little unicorn any color that you want you just close your eyes and let your mind's eye show you the way it could be white it could be you could do a black unicorn that would have been fun you know like the dark gray with indications of black throughout for the eyes and such that would have been fun but this little guy today he's gonna be blue honestly I almost feel like getting another set and working on them on my own and doing different designs because I I look at these and I'm like you know I, I work on them in the colors and the styles that I want and then I'm like man that would be cute this way too I'm thinking about it getting another set and just at some point in time doing different designs on them because it's so much fun
I remember in the 80s. If you're a child that grew up in the 80s, I was born in 1969. So, you know, my, the 80s were my years. And um, I remember the different bright colors and the unicorns and the, you know, all the girls had the unicorns with the really bright colors on them. Neon was big then. And growing up in the 80s was so fun. <laughs> He's cute. go and we'll continue on there I think we'll do something a little crazy for his tail and his mane that'll be fun and then I might do a little something extra special for his little horn because you know a unicorn's horn is magical. It's magical. So, of course, we want to bling it up a bit. You could have done, or you can do if you have the set and you are, feel so inclined, you could make this a purple unicorn. You can make it anything you want. A rainbow unicorn. Boy, that screams the 80s, doesn't it? just turn him this way. I just saw blue. You know, I mean, I could do the traditional white or whatever, and but I just saw just something fun. Be different. We're all different. You could have a pink unicorn. I've done a lot of pinks and a lot of, you know, the the white and stuff like that. I just wanted to do something a little different. U utilize more of these beautiful colors that we have. So, that's part of the main, so I'm going to leave that. I probably should have done a time lapse, but we're almost done with the blue portion. And maybe I'll still do a time lapse. To finish the rest of him up. I'm having a think about what I want to do for the mane and the tail. I know I want what I want to do. I just I'm considering my color options. There we go. We'll go here. There. We'll turn him over and get his little nose portion done. I think if I'm going to do a time lapse, I'll have all of the colors that I want to use for the rest of the design all laid out, make it easier and quicker. And we'll pick some nice music for it, something magical because it's a magical unicorn. There we go. Almost. 
almost done with his body. And then we'll get started with the real fun stuff. Okay. Last one. Oh, our little blue unicorn is coming out so cute. But now, now's where we're going to go crazy. We're going to have some fun. He's cute so far. Oh my, I like him. Well, let's get him back on where he belongs. There you go. Okay. All right, friends, so now that we have the body done, I'm going to go ahead and work on his horn. And, well, his horn is right here. That's his horn. That's where we're going to put the horn. And then his mane and his little tuft of hair right there, and then his tail. And then we'll do the outline as well. And we'll do that all in um, time-lapse. So I want you to sit back, enjoy the time-lapse, enjoy the music, and I'll see you shortly.
finished product our little unicorn if you can tell I put some rhinestones right here for his little horn but isn't he adorable he's got the little rainbow for the tail and his mane I think he came out really cute so we'll go ahead and pull you back there we go well friends thanks so much for stopping by and uh, enjoying some time with me, spending some time with me. I enjoyed it a great deal. And until I see you all again, please stop by Sweet Tea's channel, uh, Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea, and my twin sister Judy, uh, who has Crafting with Judy. Stop by their channels, like, comment, subscribe on their channels, and heck, while you're at it, please like, comment, and subscribe on this channel as well. And until I see you all again, God bless, you take care, have a magical rest of your week, Goodbye now.